Hello, Quidabble here, and today I'm on my free to play Gaelic account, and we're going to talk about preparation and execution of the champion training events or tournaments. It doesn't really matter, but let's say you're just wanting to get some books, or as you can see right here, there's the chance to get some good legendary tome and a void shard. Void shards are really good because you're going to need a lot of them to get those void legendary champions, which I still have not done. 181 on my main account. I still have not opened one up in 18 months. Makes you want to spend money, doesn't it? Well, anywho, uh, you can see right here I'm about 3302, and I have prepared this account. That's why I have a lot of XP into this already. I'm not going for these fragments, but this could be a true picture of how much preparation you can do before the event to be successful during the event, especially during this uh, Rule the Hunt Master uh, fragment event. So this could save you a lot of time during the event and allow you to have a normal life uh, during the event. You don't have to sit here and grind and grind and grind. So, sorry for the sniffles. I've got hay fever, it's killing me. So I have Gaelic at level 50. This is my, this is a brand new account pretty much. And I'm trying to take him to 60. So this would be a good example for anybody who's trying to get the next champion to level 60. But you want to get the most out of your effort. You just don't want to just take these champions and throw them in there and that's it. So as you can see, I've got one, one, two, three, four, five champions ready to go to rank five. And that'll make me a rank five chicken. So I need five rank five chickens to make Gaelic rank six but you need lots of champions of rank four to make the rank five chickens so it just keeps cascading so I prepared this account you can see I've got one two three four five six seven uh, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and I'm on my I'm working on an 18th somewhere in here so Roughly you need 20 rank 3's ready to go to rank 4. And then of course you're going to need 60 uh, rank 3's. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then these guys are ready to go. So you got 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then I'm working on a couple more. And then I've already done all the rank ones that I could have done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm going to take these up. So I'm going to take and level these up, and then I'm going to rank up all the level threes that I can, and then I'm going to rank up all the level fours that I can, and then I'll rank up as many fives as I can. And I've got a start time about 9.52 for me. So once this is done, I can show you all the points that you could get and how long it would take you to do it. And then I have 5,000 or 5,152,000 uh, silver. So then I can show you how much silver you might need to have locked away so that you can be successful and make sure you have enough. Because everything's about the resources and preparation for these events. So I'm going to put this on pause. And I'm going to go through, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start down here at uh, the rank twos and grab these, and then I'll grab the, oop, I need to rank up. So I'll just go like this, grab two of these guys to make a rank three. And then I'll grab all the rank threes that are ready to go to rank four and make those go to four. And then I'll show you how long that took and what kind of preparation it takes. So let me put this on pause, and I'll be right back. I'm back. So I finished all the rank twos to rank threes, but one thing I want to point out is when you are making these uh, champions into chickens, it's best to make the highest ones first. So I have the five rank four level 40 champions ready to go to level five, and then I work backwards from there. Because you don't want to just take one to the top and then have them sit around. You want to get your biggest ones ready and then step backwards and then work from the bottom and back up. So I don't know exactly how many I'm going to get. I might get three of these guys made into rank five chickens, but it's just important to know that you should make these first and then work backwards because if you're going up and making one all the way to rank five, um, for one thing, you're not preparing for the champion training event to get all those points. 
and then two, uh, it can it can just really feel like it takes forever. But then once you have these made into rank four level forties, then it feels like it goes faster because all you have to do is level up some people, and then as soon as you have your four champions rank four, you can grab your rank four level forty and turn them into a rank five. So it kind of works on that. So I'll get uh, I'll put it back on pause and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So now I ranked up all the rank threes that I could to rank four uh, without having, I need to make some more rank two chickens to go to rank three chickens and then to turn those guys and eat them up. It'll, it'll take some time. So I just wanted to show you, now is a really key time that during a training event, a uh, champion training event, what you want to do is you want to jump over to your level ups and you now have one two three four five six seven eight you have these eight champions that you're like okay well I'm just gonna eat them right into my rank I'm gonna make you use these to make my rank five chickens well hold on a second what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to level up and I put in four and I believe it's three points or four points per level when you level up each level of rank four. So I'm gonna put four of these in, it's gonna cost me 28,000, it's color coded, that's where you get your most efficient, and I'm gonna say upgrade. So that probably just gave me uh, 60 points. If it's three points, three times 20 is 60. So that just gave me 60 points. So with just a few seconds and my XP bruise, I just gave myself 60 points toward the event, which is almost equal to leveling up your champions from rank I think four, three to four or four to five. So I'm just gonna go do that real quick with all these champions and that's gonna equal a lot of points during this training event. And that's when I save. Now you can see here I only got one blue. So sometimes you gotta make sure you're leveling up people that you have bruise for. But you can always put in uh, void since vo you always have extra voids. You don't want to use your color coded ones, but you want to use your void ones. And that's the same 21 levels. It just took two extra potions because you only get two thirds the value of a non color coordinated XP brew. So I hit that, still get it, and I can still get the free points. So I'm going to do that with all the champions that I just leveled up to rank four, and I'll be back in just a sec. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So now, as you can see, I've done all the rank fours up that I could to level 21. And I did eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I did eight. So eight times six is 42. So that's 40, 120 points. So that was a pretty big chunk. So now I'm going to upgrade rank, and I'm just going to do what I was doing before. So I'll grab these, uh, these guys right here, and I'll grab four of the ones that I took to level 21. <laughs> And then I'll do the same thing that I did before. I'll do the, these and then I'll upgrade the level. And when I go this high, I think I put in eight is what I do. So you see six gets me to 24. And then I do two more. And that gets me perfectly to 28. I'm not overshooting. It's not a big waste. And it was only eight potions. So as you can see, I'm probably going to jump into my voids and it'll take a third more to get it done. So instead of eight, it'll probably take me an extra maybe four potions to 12 but anywho as you can see that's how it works so let me get these done and all the ones that I can and I'll show you what it looks like for all the points that we got and how fast that was okay so we made those two chickens there's one two right there and then you go and check out the the training event itself and this could be a tournament or an event and you go in here and you can see that I went from 3200 to 4781 so I made about 1480 points almost 1500 points and it took me 14 minutes so the time it takes to get up to this could be days this all this preparation and everything this information over here this could have taken me approximately two days to get all this done and you can see I only had gotten to 3200 but or 3300 but in 15 minutes I did 1500 points so with more preparation and the execution during the events you can cut out a ton of time and save yourself a ton of time 
So, and it cost me 520000 to do what I did. So it's not that much silver. You do want to have a million for the champion training events probably. That's a good safe number. And then it took me 15 minutes to get 1,500 points. So I hope this video was helpful. These are the things you want to do to prepare for them and how to execute them and save yourself a ton of time during the event. So during like a big champion fragment or fusion event, this portion of it won't take as long and you won't have to grind during the event and it might free up some time and allow you not to have to play the game 24-7 just to get that champion that you're going for. So I hope this was helpful. Have a good one. Bye.